Forbes shared interesting statistics on e-learning, stating that the industry revenue is expected to rise to $325 billion by 2025. I created my first course on Udemy in November 2019, and today I'm going to teach you how you can create your first online course on Udemy. And then at the end of the video, we will also be discussing the instructor revenue agreement that you have with Udemy as well, so that you know how much money you're going to end up making. In 2016, Udemy was valued at $710 million, and this year, TechCrunch wrote an article sharing insight on a $50 million investment that was made at a $2 billion pre-money valuation of Udemy. So if you are hoping to get into the industry of online course creation, then Udemy definitely seems like a good platform that you should at least consider. And if you consider to host your course elsewhere, then you should have a good reason why you're considering that. So if you're completely green to Udemy and you've never heard of the platform before, let me give you a quick sum up of what Udemy is, and then we'll get straight straight into creating your first online course on Udemy. Udemy is a marketplace that offers over 150,000 different online learning courses, whether it's Pinterest marketing, bread making, coding, architecture, building, Excel, SEO, you name it, there's probably a course for it on Udemy. So who uses Udemy? Udemy's website boasts over 295 million course enrollments with 80% of Fortune 100 companies trusting Udemy for employee upskilling. From my experience, I've seen Udemy target corporates quite hard to offer their marketing and business skills. But I've also seen that anybody who's actually looking to learn a skill pretty much comes to Udemy. Me. And the student who comes to Udemy often expects a couple of things. First of all, they expect an affordable course. They also expect the course to be quick and to the point. They would like someone who is an expert in a certain area. And what also makes Udemy appealing is that there is that social proof. You are able to see the reviews that certain students have had of a course. And this gives you the confidence to purchase a course as somebody who's willing to upskill themselves. Also, if somebody's just trying to upskill themselves in a certain area, a lot of Udemy courses do offer a certificate as well. So once you complete the course, you have a certificate that proves that you've actually upskilled yourself in a certain area and this really does help for your resume or your CV. I've noticed that Udemy offers practical skills and this differentiates itself from established universities where you go to get a generic skill. With Udemy if you don't understand SEO you can do an SEO specific course. If you are brand new to Pinterest marketing you can do a course specifically on Pinterest marketing. The focus is on the practical element Whereas with traditional universities, a lot more is focused on the theory. With Udemy, you learn a skill that you're hoping to apply pretty much immediately. You might be asking yourself the same question that I started asking myself after I created courses on Udemy. And that is, why would somebody buy a course when all of this information is available on YouTube for free or even in a blog for free? And from my experience, I've noticed that there are a couple of reasons why people choose to buy a course. I've actually made another video on this which you can watch called Udemy versus YouTube where I get into the details of my theory behind all of this but pretty much somebody who's looking for convenience with a concise outline of a specific subject and also people are inclined to pay for things to commit to actually doing them. Think of a gym membership. You can exercise at home, but a lot of people would rather pay for a gym membership just so that they know, okay, I'm putting money towards this. I have to show up, I have to commit. And it seems from my experience at least that people who come to the Udemy platform are willing to pay for something because it's what they need in order to commit. And also because majority of the people who come to Udemy are professional adults or students, they only have a small chunk of time that they are willing to commit to actually learning something. So it helps to purchase a fully packaged bundle as opposed to going to YouTube and trying to find the videos in the correct order or sifting through a whole bunch of different creators having to pick one. With Udemy, you can just look at all of the instructors offering information on a certain topic, pick an instructor that works for you, who you can see while well, they've got that social proof and also you like their course outline and then you can just commit to it learn the skill and move on. So let's say for example you're in an interview and somebody asks you about your Excel skills. You can pull up a certificate from Udemy. Sure it's not accredited but it's a lot more formal than you saying oh I've watched 40 hours of YouTube videos on this specific content. So Udemy does in a sense provide you with the confidence to talk about a specific topic and it's concise information taught most of the times by an expert or somebody who's very capable of reporting information collected by a group of experts. So as an instructor you are presented with qualified 
qualified leads. People come onto the platform with the mindset that they are going to be putting money towards learning a skill. So you as a content creator, you don't have to go find these leads. These leads come to you through Udemy's big marketplace. So now let's get into the juicy part, creating your first course on Udemy. First, if you don't already have a Udemy profile, sign up for one. Then click on Teach on Udemy. Then click on Become an Instructor. Udemy will then guide you through some questions, just fill these out accordingly. Indicate your teaching experience. Identify where you stand when it comes to creating video content. Identify whether you have an audience. Assuming that you clicked on this video, it's because you wanted to create a course, so click on Course. Then add a working title. You can edit this at any time. There's no need to stress about getting it right right now. Then pick a category. Tick a box which represents the amount of time you have to work on your course. Finally, click on create course. You will then find yourself in the instructor dashboard for this specific course. Now, before you get too excited about putting your content together, you first want to send across a test video. Believe me, you don't want to spend all the time creating a course and just having it declined at the end because you didn't meet the Udemy audio and visual requirements. So getting your test video approved will just give you that confidence you need to get the ball rolling. These days, you don't need to have a fancy camera because most phones are able to record in HD. So you just want to make sure that you record in HD, but that you also export an HD video. And then you also want to make sure that your sound is free from echoes and background noise. I have another video on my YouTube channel that walks you through my editing process. So if you're completely green to editing and you have a Mac, I use iMovie for all of my editing. So this video will guide you through lighting, it'll guide you through sound, it'll teach you how to edit and to add things to your videos. So give that a watch, especially when it comes to creating your test video. But also if you're not incredibly confident putting your face on camera, a lot of the Udemy courses are just PowerPoints with voiceovers. But if this is a type of video that you want to create, then make sure you send this type of formatting through for Udemy to analyze for you and just get the thumbs up on that as well. So back to this test video, it needs to be one to three minutes long. You just want to alert Udemy which language you'll be teaching in. And if there's any specific feedback you want, you can ask them for this in the video as well. To submit the video, click on set up and test video. The third option on the left is the one you want to click on to create your test video. It takes about a day or so for feedback, but when you have the thumbs up, then it's time to continue. Now we're going to work our way through creating your first course on Udemy. The first thing you want to do is look at the menu on the left over there and click on the first option under the plan your course heading. Target your students. Break down what your students will learn in your course. Click the Add Answer option to add more alternatives. Then fill in the areas of requirements students may need. Again, click on the Add Answer option to add more answers. Then fill in the field of who your target students are. Then press Save. Not only does this give Udemy an idea of what course you're trying to create, but it also provides you as the instructor with a pretty solid foundation for which you can build the rest of your course on. Next, you want to identify the course structure. You can give this page a read, but ultimately here are the requirements. Your course needs to have at least five lectures and roughly all of the lectures together have to equate just above 30 minutes of teaching time. And also when it comes to how long your lecture should be, two to seven minutes is a good time frame for which you should aim for. But sometimes I know in my courses, there have been concepts that are probably 15 to 20 minutes that I just had to explain in one video. It does help to break these up into bite-sized chunks, but if you need to create a longer lecture to just get a certain point across, then you can do that too. But just know that two to seven minutes, that's how long you actually want to aim for. Now it's time to create and add some content. Go to the second option under the create your course content. Click on curriculum. So they have created a mock section for you. You can edit the name of the lecture or delete it. Let's click on the paintbrush icon to edit. Now click on the drop down button and you will gain access to adding a description as well as resources to the specific lecture. So let's click on description and add some information related to the lecture. Press save when you are happy with your description. Then click on resources. You can download or add an existing file. Also, there's the option to apply source code within certain boundaries. To add another section, under the existing section, 
Look for the add icon. Click on the plus sign and enter the title for your new section. Give a brief description for this new section too. Then click add section. Again, find that add icon within the new section and click on it to add a lecture, quiz, coding, exercise or assignment. Let's add a lecture. Again, add a title and click add lecture. Now we have a familiar picture. We can edit or delete this lecture. We can add a description as well as resources. But now let's look into adding content. You are able to add a video, video and slide mashup or an article. Now it starts to get real. We're going to start adding the video to your content. Now there are a couple of strategies, well actually two really popular ones for how you go about this. The first strategy involves you first outlining every single section that you want to appear in your course and then adding lectures in for every single section and then only after that adding the video to the various lectures within these sections. So that's strategy one and that's the strategy I use because it helps me at least to have a concise outline of what I'm creating. But when I first started out, strategy two was more popular to me and that was just getting the ball rolling. So it was creating a section, creating a lecture within that section and then adding content to that lecture and then going to section number two, creating lectures within section number two and then adding content to that. This is a bit of an all over the place strategy so I wouldn't recommend it. I would say strategy number one is probably best but you do you. So let's jump into our first section, the introduction. Press add content. Add a video. Select a video. It now takes a while to upload, but Udemy will send you a mail once it is uploaded and processed successfully. Let's now add a description to our second lecture. And let's again upload another video. Now let's create a third section, add a title and add a description, then add the section. Now let's add a lecture within this new section. As you can see, the first video we uploaded is now processing. In the meantime, if we haven't already, we can upload resources. I'm going to reference a blog. I will copy and paste the link into the URL field and then click add link. So another resource that you can add, we've just looked at adding a blog, but you can also add a quiz to your course. I'm going to show you how you can create a quiz on Udemy. First name the quiz and give a description, then click add quiz. Now add questions and provide possible answers. Tick the correct option in the circle on the left. Leave the incorrect circles empty. Select the related lecture, then press save. Click the preview button to see what this will look like for your students. So now that we've seen sections and lectures and we've added content to these lectures, what happens if you put the section in the wrong place? You are able to move your sections and lectures around by simply clicking on them and dragging them to where you want them to be. However, if you move a section, your lectures become a bit of a mess. So you will have to drag the lectures to their correct sections. Keep an eye out for this because it can get messy. Keep dragging and dropping until you're happy with your course layout. Now, if we look in our navigation bar on the left, we'll see that the next option for us is to add captions. Now, this is optional because Udemy adds these captions for you, but I would just suggest that when your course is published, you just have a little look through and read the captions that come with your course because if things are spelt incorrectly or if it just doesn't make sense, you can edit these captions. You're able to add your own captions here as well if you want to do that. We're now going to look at the final little section on the navigation bar on the left, and that is the publish your course section. The first thing we're going to fill out here is your landing page. When students are either directed to your course through your own landing, or whether they find your course on Udemy, 
this landing page is what they will first see and this is either going to get them to buy your course or move away very very quickly so it's a good idea to spend some time just creating a very aesthetically appealing but also a well optimized landing page fill out the title for your course if you wish to make edits to the working title you previously created this is where you do that fill out a subtitle too add a description for your course as well and make sure this is detailed so that your students know what they are getting themselves into and what practical skills they will be learning. Select a level as well as a category and subcategory. Then add some keywords that people may use to search if they are hoping to land upon your course. Select the keyword that most accurately describes your course topic. We are now going to create a course image using their suggested image size. I use Canva when it comes to creating my course images because I'm able to choose the exact dimensions that Udemy requests. If you've never heard of Canva before, then I suggest you stop watching this video and first watch my Canva for Beginners video. And this will just give you a bit of an idea of what Canva is and how you can use it. Because we're just gonna jump straight into Canva right now to create this image. So in Canva, click on create a design. Then add custom dimensions. Add 750 by 422 pixels. Create your image. Remember, no text. When you've found the appropriate image for your course, download the PNG and upload it to Udemy. If you thought at this point that you were done with creating videos, mm -mm -mm, you're not done yet. The next section on the landing page is your promotional video. So when students come across your course, the promotional video is your chance to immediately connect with your students and give them a taste for what they will be experiencing in your course. Maybe give them something straight off the bat that they can action immediately, which just shows them, wow, you know what you're talking about. And also you're providing them with content that helps them to action things immediately. You can upload this promotional video here, then click save. Now, when students start, and complete your course, you are able to send them an automated message. Click on course messages. Add a welcome message over here to new students. And then over here, add a congratulatory message to the students who completed the material. And that's pretty much it. You're almost ready to submit your first course. But before we do that, we need to talk about the rev share agreement. At the time of this video, there are three basic revenue share agreements that you as an instructor need to be aware of. But before we talk about that, let's just talk about why there are three different options. Because if you had to own the entire supply chain, that means you had to buy and pay for a site that would host your course, you would have to market your course and advertising can be really expensive, especially if you've never had experience with paid advertising campaigns before. You'd have to deal with customer service, you'd have to deal with refunds, and you'd also have to deal with the whole payment process. And you'd be provide your marketplace full of qualified leads where hundreds and thousands of students access their platform looking to learn, looking to buy courses. So you are getting those qualified leads and therefore Udemy deserves a bit of a chunk of what you're earning. First, if you make a sale using your own affiliate link or coupon code, you will receive 97% of the sale. Once your course is published, you will gain access to a promotions feature where you can gain access to a link that you can share, which will indicate to Udemy that you are the person who made the sale. Here, you will also be able to set a variety of custom prices. If a student finds your course organically on Udemy, you will gain 50% of the revenue. The most common form, from my experience, is that you will only receive 25% commission. Because if Udemy markets your course, or if an affiliate drives traffic to your course, then you get a smaller piece of the pie. So if you're expecting to make millions off Udemy straight off the bat, it's very unlikely unless you're driving all of the traffic and getting 97% of the price that you determine your course should be at. Because most of the time on Udemy, the courses are always on sale, which means that the price is very low for you as a course creator. And Udemy is taking quite a big chunk of that. So if you're only making 25% of a small amount, just think of how many courses you have to sell before you start making real money. But we're not gonna get too much into strategy on this video. This video is all about creating your first course on Udemy. So stay tuned for that in a future video. But now that you understand how the revenue agreement works, Let's talk about how you go about creating your price. So if you look in the left over there, you will see a heading pricing. Here you are able to select the price for your course. 
and after this you are ready to submit your course for review. So this video introduced you to all of the elements that you will find on your instructor dashboard if you've signed up to be an instructor on Udemy. I've explained briefly how you go about creating your course and we've touched on some of the important things that you should be aware of, like the importance of a promotional video as well as how to move your sections and add your lectures and add your content and even create a quiz within your course. So you've learned the fundamentals here, but there's a lot more that you can learn and I suggest that you stay tuned for part two of my Udemy tutorial. But in the meantime, I think you'll find my video where I compare YouTube and Udemy very interesting, so I'll include that in my end screen. But also, if you've never edited a video before and you are planning to use iMovie, then check out the other video where I actually teach you how I edit my videos using iMovie. So if you're hoping to create a course on Udemy, I think right now the best use of your time would be to create a concise course outline and then also to send through a test video for Udemy to give the thumbs up on. Once you've created a course outline and once you've received the feedback from Udemy, it will give you that confidence you need to get the ball rolling and get your content up on your course. As you can see, it's very unlikely likely that you'll be a millionaire overnight from having courses on Udemy, but I will talk about the strategy more in an upcoming video. So good luck with getting your first course on Udemy. Creating a course, I found at least, has been a very interesting and fun experience and I hope that you find a lot of joy in creating your first course on Udemy too. Thank you for spending your time with me, I hope you found this video valuable and I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye bye.